Good evening, everybody. I'm Warboss5. Thank you so much for joining me tonight as we continue to, honestly, at this point, continue to slog through Persona 4. I, f I feel like we're getting close. Getting <laughs> close to the end. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, why is there so much to do in this game? <laughs> why is there always so much to do? All right. Okay, let's play... I oh, need my volume here. There we go, that's better. Alright, yes, Jay, good to see you, my dude. Thank you so much for the host. Um, what did I fuck up last time? I fucked up... Oh, no, wait, I fixed that. That's right, okay. So. Uh, oh, that's right. We stopped right before the beginning of finals week. Um, and, of course, the ski trip that follows which I'm sure will have another animated cutscene for me to be demonetized for. All right. Did I have anything I could do tonight? Oh, I can do things tonight. Just There didn't seem to be much reason to. I can't hang out with Dojima or Nanako. But let's go check the shopping district, I guess? Third best part of the game. Okay, I'll I'll uh, I'll trust you on that one. Anybody out here that I don't hang out with normally, or am trying to get the, uh, trying to get up levels? No, nope, just the three party members I have already leveled all the way up. Yep. All right. Uh, home, I guess. What do my S-Links look like right now? Okay, finished up Yosuke, that's right. We've almost got Dojima done. We've almost got Nanako done. We've almost got Naoto done. And then we've just got a bunch of other minor social links I didn't bother with. Wow, that would leave me with only five social links that I didn't do. That's not bad. Although I can absolutely see how you need like a, a guide to maximize the time the time on this kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So I think we'll probably just read just to move the night along. Uh, what do I have? Um, uh, I guess... Oh, you know what? We can work on a model, I guess. You decide to build a model. You silently and diligently assemble the complex pieces according to the instructions. Your diligence is increased. You were almost cut off a piece you weren't supposed to. Very nice. Model is not complete. All right. The year-end exams begin today and continue until the weekend. You should hurry to school. Indeed, I should. All right, time to just progress through a fucking week with nary a stop in between. Oh. All right. Sorry, I got a little something in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, good morning, Rexakun. The advancement exams start today. Did you remember to study for them? Chie seems anxious, but me, I'm kind of relieved. I miss things like exams and schoolwork. This is just another sign of normal life slowly coming back. I'm with you there. I wish those stayed gone. I'm with you there. Mm-hmm. Everyone's been their old selves around town and school, too. The ski trip this weekend might be our last special outing. Let's ace those exams so we can focus on having fun on the trip. Alrighty. Chihei never studies. No, she does not. Advancement exams day one. The word alphabet comes from the word alpha and what other? G, I think it's beta. Correct answer. Uh, how was the theory of the pyramids were built by slaves disproven? Attendance logs, contracts, employee ID cards, and resumes. Uh, attendance logs. I feel like you've chosen the correct answer. Yep, they actually wrote down who was working on those pyramids, and they were paid quite well, as I recall. Day two. What drink name means bury demons? Oh, shit, I forget this one. I think it's Toshi. It's, yeah, I want to say Toshi. All right. Uh, Toshi Berry Demons. 
Uh, Toso. Okay, it's Toso. Uh, is the one I wanted. And that's why I check. Toso. Correct answer. What was the medical term for brain freeze? It was a big long one, as I recall. I think it's this one. Svena palpatine ganglio neurologia, or whatever the fuck. Um... Yep, that's the one. There we go. Uh, I've chosen the correct answer. Cool. All right, next day. Day three. It, what is the Japanese zodiac equivalent of the cat in the Thai and Vietnamese zodiacs? That's the rabbit. Chosen the correct answer. What vegetable was used to make the first jack-o'-lanterns? Uh, turnips. I remember getting this one right. I actually knew that one. <laughs> oh, so many questions. I'm glad my sleep headband... Oh, sleep headband finally came in so I can listen in darkness to rain sounds. That actually sounds nice. Exam day four. What color were the pyramids when they were first built? They were built white because they were covered in uh, sandstone. What gets mixed with snow in Europe that sometimes causes it to turn red? A human blood, the Sahara Desert Sand, or red dye? Sahara Desert Sand. Could have chosen the correct answer again. Yay! What the hell? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the someone's car alarm's going off. Morning, senpai! Today's the last day of exams. Ah, this week has been so stressful. But the ski trip's tomorrow. I can't wait to stay the night with everyone. Say, how are you at skiing? I, have done, I haven't done it in a while, so I'm worried I might be a little rusty. I'll teach you. Uh, I'm worried, too. Uh, I get the feeling uh, I'm worried, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, since we're both worried, let's ski together. I'm sure it'll all come back to us if we do lots of skiing in the next two days we're spending there. Oh, I'd much rather spend some time in the hotel room with you. Ah, ew. Last day of exams. Answered everything. Answers will be flowing from your hand. Damn right they are. Okay, someone needs to shut that fucking car up. Final day of ex uh, ski trip is tomorrow. You decide to go straight home. You're back. Oh, yeah. A package came for you. It's on the table over there. A Sundari Ware combo. Oh, that's right. And a price sticker. All right. We'll save up real quick. Also, I have to... Oh, thank God. It went away. Um, I will be right back because I, have a sun... I suddenly have to use the bathroom. I don't know. What the hell? I know. The stream just started, right? What the fuck? That's ah, okay. No one's here for Jay yet, so... Sorry about that. That's what I get for drinking a 32-ounce Mountain Dew right before the stream starts, I guess. Uh, okay. Much better. Much, much, much better. All right. And while we're standing here, say my tea is probably ready. Yeah, my tea's ready. Squeeze that out. Oh, cool, that picks up on the mic. Neat. And of course, a little bit of whiskey.
Hmm. Good stuff. Okay. Skeet service tomorrow. You should return to your room and rest early. Go to sleep. Today is the day of your ski trip with your friends. You will be it will be your last big memory of winter in Inaba. Your endeavors uh, you endeavor to have as much fun as possible. Here comes the cutscene. I have never understood the attraction of skiing. I tried snowboarding once. I was awful at it. Oh, apparently I am a good skier. Oh, Rize, you're adorable. Oh yeah, once your uh, once your uh, skis are entangled like that, you're fucked. Pizza, French fr pizza, you fool, pizza! Teddy is going to die. Oh. She just watches. She doesn't even try to warn him. <laughs> so yeah, that is clearly straight out of an anime. <laughs> and the ski, you ski down the slopes a number of times, enjoying the time with your friends. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Since 1839, what the hell is... You know what, I don't want to ask. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! <laughs> Oh, I do like this group. You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? <laughs> thoughts of the, the thoughts of the voice, the inner monologue of the voice actor somehow makes it into the script. So this was your first time skiing, Naotokun? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji Kun is teaching me, but why are all their hats so loose? It's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. Yeah, that does happen a lot. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? Yeah, like legit, their hats are all like, like just sitting on top of their head and just like flapping in the bristle. No, 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 those are winter hats. They like press everything down. What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. Oh, don't worry. We'll get you off your feet pretty soon. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. And yet your ears continue to twitch. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? Okay, yeah, that, that is one thing I will say. Skiing is fucking exhausting. I have never finished... Uh, a day of skiing without being ravenously hungry. I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry. What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. Ooh, fish. Yum. That non-regional part caught my attention. So it's a non-style style? Non-style style. What is that supposed to taste like? Soul, hopefully. I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. Oh, good. Yukiko, you can use that then. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. 
That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. Yeah, on your fifth try. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naldo helped you. That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. And Naoto understanding what the words in the cookbook meant. Never ski a day in my life, and with my bad legs, I'll never get a chance. I wouldn't necessarily say that. I'm sure that I would not be at all surprised if there is some method that you that that can be done, like to ski uh, with like bad legs or a bad back. I, I I would not at all be shocked if such things exist. Um, and you can always go snowboarding, or not snowboarding, um, snowmobiling. I've heard that's quite fun. That I've never done. Um, I mean, I grew up in Southern California, so trips up to Big Bear were something that happened every now and then. Again, though, I was never a big fan. The shoes are uncomfortable, I hate my feet being stuck to the skis, and it's fucking cold. I don't care which it was, and you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now! Food! God damn it! Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? MEAT! How much of a carnivore are you? <laughs> the worrisome kind, Yosuke. I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. Which is weird. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? Or venison? I mean, there's gotta be good hunting up here. She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Everyone turns to look at Teddy. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? Uh, fucking phrasing, Teddy. Jesus Christ. No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. Yeah, You're Predator. So cruel, Yuki -chan. Yeah, Predator meat's not as good, I've heard. You finish skiing for today and decide to return to the lodge. Chie is in love with meat. Oh dear. <laughs> After dinner, everyone's gathered in the lounge. With the same snacks as always. Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? He's getting laid, Yosuke. You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... No. <laughs> Whatever you're about to say, Yosuke, no. But I didn't suggest anything yet. You did not need to, my dude. Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? No. Why don't we go night skiing? <laughs> Strip I've poker? I've been impressed by people who can do that. Oh, God, no. Sorry, I, I can barely stand to go out during the day. Afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Plus, night is when all the things with teeth and claws come out. Then, why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Uh, Kanji? Tell ghost stories. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that does make sense, too. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Not if you're playing, uh, what is it? Uh, Until Dawn. Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Well, we already know Chie is. Oh no, wait, it was Thunder Chie was freaked out by. Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. Uh, Yukiko, I think this just means he shit in the pot. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. Not really. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. Haniwa? They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Who the fuck's a Haniwa? Uh, wonder what could happen if Chie got her hands on the other <laughs> Jesus. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, 
but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Oh, what's the matter now? It's uh, getting a little freaked out. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? Yeah, well, I wonder if we wander up to the mountains, if we can find a uh, Skyrim-style uh, Karn or uh, a tomb. Kill yes. some... Kill some... Uh, not Brogger. What the fuck's the word I want? Uh, Draugr. That's right. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Eh, they're okay. Yeah, you say that, but I bet you've got some crazy story of your own up your sleeve. Hmm, you and ghost stories, huh? That might be seriously scary. We've all, we just fought a, a god thing that's the collective desire of humanity to forget everything and stop existing. What, what is there more? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! <laughs> Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Kanji, don't point out the flaws in her plan. Shut up, Moranji. Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Yeah, leave Kanji alone. Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. You know, it occurs to me I don't know any ghost stories. Like, I've never bothered to read the... I mean, I could tell you, like, Lovecraft-style stories, but um, I don't think I'd be able to remember them well enough to evoke the correct sense of dread. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so we went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. Damn. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Ooh, intense. I like it. <laughs> it's not that bad, GA. Oh! <laughs> that's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Just keep telling yourself that, Naoto. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. Mm. The plot thickens. The story that Yosuke telling is from Persona 3. The story's a bit exaggerated. No one died. Oh, wow. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. I, I had a feeling it was a uh, callback of some kind. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? That was a great story. Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? On a trip, on a trip one night just like this. You're gonna do this to us too? Of course. You decide to tell them a story, you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. Boy. So? So? And then? Boy, it'd be nice if I could hear this story. Late at night, he heard crying. He woke up in a blue blue room. Never mind, I can't go on. Uh, let's see. Late at night, he heard crying. Ooh, one time at the inn, there was this... What was that? 
That's. I heard something. I heard something just now. That's actually a very good question. That what was, was that? Unusual. It, it's probably just Teddy. Imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Oh God, Teddy's gonna come in like freaky looking and scare the shit out of us, isn't he? Hanako and Kashiwagi's monster. Hanako and Kashiwagi monsters. <laughs> That's the story I'm telling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it must continue. Huh? Wait, are you talking about ah! <laughs> uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me. I told you I didn't want to do this. Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on. I can't take this anymore. Hurry! <laughs> Hang on. Where's the switch? Oh, okay. How dare you? <laughs> Fucking Teddy. Uh, GA freaks out. She does it well. You think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you. Sure you are, Teddy. Sure you are. Get him? <laughs> I'll test something real quick here. Okay, I guess you guys can hear that, so let me turn it on low. There we go. Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. <laughs> Holy shit, now it's out. Damn! <laughs> Babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Okay, this is... Kind of almost wish I was dating Yukiko at this point. Because that's a great reaction. The night goes on. The second day of the ski trip. You decide to spend your time on the slopes until sunsets. Alright! Time to hit the snow! Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. Oh, no, I was doing that, too. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. We want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish they'd end up making his character gay. I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Fucking Teddy. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? <laughs> You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai. Hold it right there. Uh, Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much. Ladies, ladies, there's plenty of protagonist D to go around. Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke Senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko Senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. <laughs> what are you getting at? <laughs> oh, Kanji. I went with Yukiko the first time I played. Oh, okay. Ski with Naoto, please, or boss. I am begging you. So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai. Let's go. Our logic is 100% ironclad. Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Yes, they do. Why are you impressed? <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Oh, crap, you're right. 
You're right. I want to make members with Senpai too. <laughs> Good fucking God. Now it's always Kanji's to be a bit of a dick move. Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Oh, yeah, thanks. Seeing everyone staring at you so hopeful hurts. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Uh, thanks. Thanks, dude. <laughs> no prop. You've got a partner who understands your needs. Uh, well, let's go enjoy the slopes. We're skiing with everybody today. Uh, you plan to make today a fun day as well. Everyone is enjoying the slopes. Kanji is helping Naoto practice. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No. Not at all. <laughs> Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. You already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. <laughs> well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? Whoa. They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. It's falling with style, Kanji. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Also a possibility. Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. Ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. Yeah, right up until they have to stop themselves and fall on their ass. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Hopefully forward, I mean. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. You're stopped now. Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um, right! <laughs> uh, I, I'll catch Naoto. I'd rather catch Rise. I'll catch you. I'll catch you all! I'd rather catch Rise. <laughs> I'll remember you said that. But you can't catch me if I get there first. Oh, see, that is... That's exactly the kind of response I would want from a girlfriend. Oh, it's still a long way down. Stay with Naoto and help. No, Jeez, Naoto will be you're fine. Too nervous, Naoto -kun. You just need to ski straight. Plus, I'm not taking any time away from Naoto and Kanji. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis. <laughs> I think I'm going to walk. No, you're not. Time passes as you have fun on the slopes. The sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slope? Uh, let's see. 
Decided to ask Kanji to ski with you. Oh, whoops, I didn't realize that was an actual choice. I thought that was the one that switches it. Oh well. You and your boys enjoyed the time together on the mountain. How did he get up on his skis Considering from that position? I've been hitting these slopes for two days straight. I think I've gotten a lot better. Of course, just when I get the hang of things is the moment we have to leave. Happens every time. Well, such is life, my dude. What should I do? I'm going to be headhunted by the pros. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Did he? You, you, you might want to. Well, actually, no. That, that that attitude seems to have taken you quite a distance. So, cheers. Good luck. Dude, there are no competitions where you slide downhill on your stomach. Why not? Snow is weird. I've never seen it before. How does this stuff get in the sky in the first place? It's the same as rain, but when it's too cold, it just freezes and falls to snow. Wouldn't that make it like little lumpy ice balls that bonk you on the head and stuff? Ouch! Why are you being so nitpicky? It's kind of mysterious, though. How these little white water flowers just tumble delicately from the sky. Aw, Kanji has a beautiful soul. When you look up, you usually don't notice it, but I can understand how deep the sky is. I feel like I'm falling in. Wow. I always had a feeling you were one of those warrior poet types, but <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Kanji's got the heart of a dreamy little girl. <sighs> Teddy, don't ever, ever say anything even remotely like that again. Shut the hell up. You started this stupid conversation in the first place. I just asked where snow comes from. I didn't start writing berry tales about white flowers and falling into the sky and stuff. You, you picking a fight with me, Ted? <laughs> it's gonna get dark soon. It's starting to snow, too, so we should be getting back. Agreed. I think today's dinner had some actual meat. If we get there too late, that carnivore is gonna get it all. I do not... I do not underestimate Chie's ability to eat literally all so the how meat. How active we've been today. It'll really suck if we don't get some dinner tonight. So, which way do we go to get back to the lodge? Down, generally. I wasn't really paying attention. I wasn't expecting it to start snowing this much, and I thought we'd be able to see it from up here. How about you, Senpai? You remember the way? It should be right. I think it's left. Oh, good. I don't even remotely know what this the correct answer is here. Um... Judging by the direction of the slope, I'm going to say left. Dude, are you sure? This might be a ski area, but one wrong turn and we'll end up in the mountains. At least if worse comes to worse, I can just go into High Bear Nation. I read about that in a book. <laughs> the High the High Bear Nation. It's uh it's what they uh, it's what they call it when uh, Teddy goes to a furry convention with a fuckload of weed. Don't even think about it. You'll wake up in the afterlife. In any case, let's get going. We can't dally around with the snow in this much. You're right. All right then, let's go. The snow is rapidly decreasing any visibility. You decide to somehow to somehow make your way to the lodge. Did I pick right, or or is this one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't situations? Oh, we're all going to die. Excellent. You've been walking quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. Are you guys okay? Oh, good. I've you killed guys everyone. Are all still here, right? You two, me, and hey, where, where's Teddy? I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of surface There's area. No jokes like eh, that snowman's talking right now, please. This isn't good. We're com completely lost, and it's so cold that I'm gonna die. And that is why I don't go skiing. Don't give up so easy. Show some guts, damn it. Are contracts that Teddy takes even valid? I don't think he's a registered citizen, no birth certificate, no valid ID. Oh, God. All the meat and then some, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I remember reading that the people who give up first are the ones who end up dying. Actually, Sensei, 
I think my batteries are about to wear out. Don't fall asleep no matter what. Um, don't fall asleep no matter what. Oh, good. He just said not to fall asleep. Qu quit screwing around. You'll die. F -f -f For real. Hey, doesn't that look like a cottage? Great. And now he's hallucinating. You start dreaming on your feet and pretty soon you're d dead. This got harrowing. I'm not dreaming, asshole. Open your freaking eyes and look. Ooh, that is indeed a snowy mountain cottage. That is a shithole. When night falls, the phone line gets cut and one by one the inhabitants die by the fireplace poker. That'll be the least of our worries. Look, we can't stay out in the snow like this. Let's get over there qu quick. I have a feeling that I would have ended up here regardless of whether I picked left Excuse or right. Excuse me! Is anyone here? There's no answer from inside. Wait, huh? Okay, the creepy doll can be a thing that is not. The door was unlocked, but there's no one inside. I can't see anything. Wonder why it was open. I don't know, but it's better than freezing to death. Let's just consider ourselves lucky, okay? Anybody know the lodge's phone number? We can call them up and have them send some rescue services or something. Seriously? Don't tell me. No one knows what it is? Too many horror movies, much dead. I don't have my phone with me. Me neither. Really? Come on, man. That's why cell phones were invented. You're supposed to keep it around. Who the hell would I call? We're all hanging around together. If you told me we were gonna get lost, I'd have remembered to bring it! Sound logic, Kanji. I'm all naked in here. You should have told me that this was gonna happen. Oh my god, are you not wearing any clothing inside there? How was I supposed to know? If I'd known this was gonna happen, then we wouldn't have gotten lost. Fine, I'll give Chie a call. No service. Come on, Yosuke, quit stalling. Hurry up and call Chie-chan. The battery's dead. Oh. After Skillfully all the done. Shit you gave us for being unprepared. Now this. It's an old phone, so it runs out fast. I can't afford a new one because I was saving up for a motorcycle. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. Come on, partner. You're our only hope. Senpai, you're our hero, right? You always save us, Sensei. I've always believed in you. Uh, they're staring at you with such great hope in their eyes. The screen reads, no service. Womp womp. Seems to be no signal here. Well, that's it then. It's hopeless. I'm so freezing. Even under that suit? We don't know when this blizzard's going to stop either. We're screwed if we have to spend the night here. Oh well, there's a hearth over there. Let's start a fire in that. But how are we going to do that? I don't have a lighter or anything. Let's look around. If there's a hearth here. There's got to be stuff to use in it. I was going to say, I'm going to start carrying around... If I ever go back to the mountains, I'm going to carry a ma set of matches with me. After some effort, you managed to get a fire started in the hearth. Man, it looks like we're going to survive this. Look where we are. Even if we do get in touch with the others, are they going to be able to find us? I bet we'll freeze here. Come tomorrow morning, we'll just be lumps of ice. Don't give up, we'll manage. Shut up, I'm cold too. Don't give up. Sensei, your courage is awe-inspiring. I feel a little warmer just basking in the glow of your awesomeness. Damn right. But man, this little fire's too small to warm up the four of us. Let's light a fire on part of the floor then. Uh, Kanji? The whole place is made of wood. That's called arson. We'll end up all burning to death instead of freezing to death. Sheesh, all you do is complain. I don't see you offering any ideas. Well, if we can't start a fire, all we can do is wear more stuff. Is there a sleeping bag or something around here? Oh, yeah. Like a big, thick, fuzzy bag is going to be just sitting here. 
Huh? What? Maybe it might fit four. Yeah, I think I was doomed to this. But, but I'm like a newborn baby here. If the three of you come in, my innocence will be destroyed. Will you not get off with that crap? <laughs> that the? thing turned on just now, right? It wasn't just me. I'll go take a look. Uh, right. But why? I'm coming too, senpai. Me three. This smells really fishy. Hey, wait up! What turned on? What do you mean, wait up? It's a one-room cabin. Whoa, dude, stop it! What the hell are you doing? Quit fooling around! But we have to find out, right, senpai? No! S sensei stop it! You'll fall in! Hey! Wh what do you guys think you're doing? Senpai, no! Don't leave me! What the fuck is going on? Where did you all come from? They're still dressed. What are you doing here? Wait, were you... Were you all fucking listening? Wait. What about our clothes? Why wouldn't they be dressed? Ugh, do I really have to spell it out? Did you girls come to rescue us? I can't believe you came so far into the mountains after me. What are you talking about? This little hut is right behind the lodge we're staying in. It seems it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. Anyway, what were the four of you doing shoving each other around in here? Uh, attempting not to die? Uh, we were checking the TV. Why? What's the matter with it? Oh, uh, is this one of those male bonding things or something? Uh, yes! Do you want us to come back later? Give you some time? What? No! No, you're completely misunderstanding! The girl's stares are painful. You desperately explain what happened just now. Okay, so you got lost, stumbled onto this convenient cottage, and needed to warm each other up. Yeah, male bonding, like we said. No, damn it! why aren't you listening? The TV just turned itself on, it makes no sense. The case has been over for months. So? Maybe the wiring's bad or something, or you saw some light reflected in it. This misunderstanding is unbearable. I feel so unclean. My reputation has been sullied. Your reputation was nothing to preserve, Teddy. From the looks of it, this TV isn't even plugged in. If what you are all saying is true, then we may want to investigate this. That's what we've been saying from the start. This TV, huh? Then let's take a closer look, shall we? Uh, hey, wait a sec. Ooh, cutscene. Chie does strike me as a. Oh, that's a problem! Is that Marie? Uh, ah! uh, what the hell is this? That's a good question. Margaret. Excuse me. You know, you could have just asked, Margaret. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. 
She's beautiful. Yep. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? She's my sweetheart, a friend of sorts. F friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Like you would not believe, dude. One more, uh, one more proof Margaret is weird. She pulled eight people with a single arm. That's a very sound point. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? Not really. She does have the eyes of a shadow, but she's been helpful so far. I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. You mean about Marie? Yes, I have come to guide you. Well, we're here. I don't think guiding is really necessary anymore. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. You did ask to be taken to where Marie is. Is she here? This is the Hollow Forest, the Closed Realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Why? I do not know everything, but as you know, she was searching for her memory, and by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? Yep. I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean, she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone is worried about Marie. What should you do? Explain Marie's situ- Yeah. You explain that Marie had lost her memory and that she is currently missing. Emmy-chan has amnesia? Well, had yeah, from the, the sound TV of it. Right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. This puts one scene in Persona 3 into perspective. How did the protagonist of Persona 3 did not die of a shattered hip? What? Oh, from falling, like, uh, I do not know what you're talking about, Diablo. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. We put an end to a dachi. The phenomenon does not stop. A dachi just, just means he's, no one's tossing people in anymore. I do not think this is the same situation. Because the protagonist bangs Margaret's sister. Oh, nice. <laughs> How did the other men die? Crushed pelvises. <laughs> this is this is what I thought would happen to me, but I kind of always hoped. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie's son has the persona ability as well? No, not yet. No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. Another, another sentient shadow. What kind of girl were you showing around town? A sentient shadow, apparently. Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? Yep. Powerful ones. You're kidding me. That means Marie is in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows, I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead and search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Uh, is that why you brought my friends? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. 
One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but you are also like Marie-san, a resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. So is she like a manifestation of humanity's collective superego? Because that's the feel I get from her. What you see and what you <clears throat> believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. One more thing! As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a way to die. We'll lose our memories? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Seriously, what is this? Fucking Big O? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? I won't forget. I understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. <laughs> Fuck that! Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey, wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. And that's why you're on the team, Kanji. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. I can! Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! Okay, I guess we're just going to wait. Ow! Ugh, who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us and it's a tiny frickin' TV. <laughs> oh, I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? <laughs> uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. We do? What are we going to talk about? <laughs> Literally, it faded out and in for like a two second interval. Just so they didn't have to uh, animate know, them getting up. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, 
So the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. Sorry for keeping the secret. There wasn't a chance. Yeah, sorry for keeping secrets, guys. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Her memory is the key. Definitely her memory is the key. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Right. Isn't that the same as dying? No, it's significantly worse. What? Wait, you mean she's trying to? I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. I was gonna say, it's, it's, it's certainly better than the default anime antagonist thing of there is suffering, therefore everyone needs to die. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy, Teddy. Be, be careful. Last time you thought down this road, you vanished. The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? I need your help. We can't leave her like this. I need your help. Senpai, you're right. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you... Being alone all the time? Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. It's actually very true. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Well, you were able to face it and accept it to the level that the creator was okay with letting you face it and accept it. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. Damn right we do. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Risei-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. Well, I mean, technically I can. I, I'm actually pretty good at just running around them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah, all right. It's super sniffy time together with Risei-chan. Don't... <laughs> Fine, Teddy, sure. Super sniffy time, whatever. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. Sure. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. You. <laughs> hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. Oh, you shut the fuck up, Yosuke. How rude. What do you mean, at least? Oh, I thought he was... Let's regroup at school. I thought he was throwing shade at Risei. Running around them is a optimal way in this dungeon. It's very gimmicky. Okay. Oh, fun. Your friends are thinking back on the way things used to be. According to Margaret, there isn't much time before this place closes. You must find Murray quickly, or you will never be able to see her again. 
You are concerned about Marie, but first you should get a grasp of the, situ of the situation at hand. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. 